Hello guys, welcome to my video series tutorial to talk about Microsoft Schematic Kernel. In this video, I am going to explain how to use YAML configuration to define our prompt. In our last video, we talked about this plugin using config file and escape prompt. Now, we are going to define the YAML config. The advantage of this YAML config, you no need to define two different files. Here you can see we defined two files, one for configuration JSON and another for our prompt, escape prompt.txt file. But in YAML, you define only one file. Here you can see this plugin I created one folder called YAML. YAML folder contains city.yaml file. Here we define all the information. For example, the escape prompt in our previous sample, escape prompt I define in the YAML file is a template and template format description. The description also same in escape prompt here. Sorry, it's in the config, config JSON. We define in the description. I define it. The input variables, in the configuration, we define the input variables. The same I define in here input variables, name, description, that output variable description. And the settings, that temperature, max tokens, settings, we have to define in the execution settings, the default. That's it. So the one file we define in the our whole prompt and plus configuration. Let's move on to the program.cs file. Then we write the code how to read this YAML file and execute. So no need, I keep only the program.cs file. So here the same step, I created a kernel builder. The next step, we have to define the path, so where our YAML file is available. So here where YAML directory equal to path dot combine directory get current directory the next is we have to define the plugin so the go to plugin folder plugins next go to yaml path yaml folder Then YAML file name ct dot YAML. That's it. Next step, we have to read the YAML file. So where YAML config. So read all text. We can use async also here. Async. I change this to a weight. So this step read the YAML config file. Once file has been readed, this information we have to import to the kernel. So where this is YAML function. YAML function go to kernel kernel builder dot create function from prompt YAML. So this API we have to use. Then you have to pass a text prompt text. This we read it in this step, yaml config, maybe I change to the variable name, yaml prompt config. So this we have to pass it here. So create a sk function from yaml config. Then 
Then rest of the code same. We have to create the kernel arguments and we have to use the invoke. So here create kernel arguments. So where kernel arguments new of kernel arguments so the input user input that's it then finally run the sk function r invoke the sk function so where result equal to await kernel builder dot invoke async so the first argument we had to pass a sk function now it's yaml function here and second argument kernel arguments so this is a function result i changed the name also function result and finally we will print the result right line function result dot get value string and console dot right line all right that's it So seems to be all okay and uh, one thing I missed out to use this YAML you have to install one NuGet package go to package manager installed you can see you have to install this Microsoft semantic kernel YAML this package has to be installed okay so all is done now we run this application this time bangalore bangalore oops seems to be some bug could not find part of the path yeah this issue because of this city.yaml not copied to the output folder so if you go to the property and you can select this option I always use this copy always op option so I selected this one restart the application enter the city name Bangalore So we get a result about the Bangalore. The next video we talk about uh, here the result you can see it's suddenly coming as a flash. Instead of that, we print the result word by word. So that we'll talk about in our next video. Thanks to all. Bye.